Hi, I'm Sterling Lynch. I will be directing the Ottawa Little Theatre's uh, season opener this year. It's the uh, 105th season that the Ottawa Little Theatre has produced. And the play that I will be directing as the season opener, uh, if you didn't get that already, is uh, Educating Rita by Willie Russell. And it uh, opens on September 20th. Now, the plot itself is pretty straightforward. Uh, Rita wants to um, better herself through education. She meets Frank. Uh, Frank is her tutor. He is a uh, cynical drunk who doesn't really want her to become educated. She wants an education. He wants to prevent her from being ch from changing. Uh, pretty straightforward plot device. No, no, the, the, the script and the story is quite simple. It is actually uh, quite a well-written play. Uh, it's funny, it's warm, very thoughtful, a lot of interesting um, insights throughout the course of the play. Uh, like it was an absolute joy to read, and I think it'll be a joy to watch, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to direct it. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, I'm a bit of a, I'm a writer, I write plays, I blog a lot, so normally I would try to, you know, write about the production, uh, to provide some insights, um, about how things are going and what my th thoughts are about you know about the play, but I thought this year I'd try something or this for this production I'd try something a little bit different and I'm going to try vlogging and that's what you are experiencing right now, which uh, will be short, quick, uh, well hopefully short and hopefully quick um, little video updates, so kind of like a, a diary of, of sorts that will take up, take you from pretty much the beginning of the production right through until, until the end, right through the rehearsal process, right through the end of the production. Uh, I mean, I've been, I've been working on the play sort of more as a, in a producer capacity for a few months now, but uh, we haven't even cast it yet. So there's still lots of uh, interesting um, things to learn about before the play even gets off the ground. I mean, we haven't really started anything yet. Uh, well, <clears throat> assembling the team for the Ottawa Little Theatre is, a, is a, a big piece of work, and so I'm sure I'll talk about that at some other time. So what can you expect of this uh, video series, this vlog? Well, my plan is to share with you some of my thoughts and reflections on uh, the play itself, uh, uh, the rehearsal process, working with the designers, working with the actors. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you a sense, uh, a feeling, uh, some insight into what it's like to put a show like this together, specifically for the Ottawa Little Theatre. You know, sort of the, the, the thinking and the process that goes into uh, taking a play, which is a written text, and turning it into a live performance, which uh, may, seem, may seem straightforward, but it's actually quite complex and uh, quite interesting, and one of the reasons why I like theater so much. Um, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty exciting process, and I'm hoping I'll be able to give you some insight uh, through these, these, uh, these logs. Um, I don't know yet um, I, if if the actors are game and the designers are game. I might do some interviews with them, or maybe give do some behind the scenes videos and things like that. But uh, that'll be up to them. I'm not, no, uh, there'll be no one will be under any obligation to participate in this. I understand that uh, you know some people don't want to uh, let it all hang out, uh, so I'm gonna let them set their their level of involvement. I guess you know. Uh, like, like Fight Club, I guess, you, or Project Mayhem in Fight Club. Uh, you deter they de they'll determine their own level of uh, involvement. And that is a total segue, and that's the kind of exciting um, fun, I hope, that you will uh, experience in these, um, uh, these vlogs. Um, what can you expect? Oh, uh, if you don't like spoilers or if you don't like uh, people thinking through plays and poking at them and trying to figure it out, this is not going to be for you. Uh, in fact, this will be the only vlog where I don't say anything about the plot and how it uh, play plans out. Uh, so I'm going to analyze it, talk about the play, I'm going to poke holes in it. Um, if you don't like that, this is this is not going to be something you want to watch. Uh, so do that. just turn it off. Don't come back. But if this is something that if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, um, please uh, like, uh, subscribe to, the, to my YouTube channel, like, comment, etc. So my 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 intention is to um, produce at least one vlog once a week, and probably more during the audition or the rehearsal process, and take you you know right from beginning to end. 
but um, blogging and social media is a little like Tinkerbell. You know, so Tinkerbell needs applause to survive. You prove that you believe in fairy, fairy tales. Well, vlogging is a lot like that. Um, I need to believe that you're out there. And so the only way that you can do that is by subscribing to my YouTube channel, by liking the videos and adding comments and questions and these kinds of things. So if I, if I see a lot of activity on that front, then I'll be motivated to create more videos. If this kind of falls into silence and you know, no response, well then I'll, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll keep doing it anyways, because it, it'll be a neat uh, experiment for me. But, um, you know, the, the, the more you give, the more I'll give, you know, it's kind of like two ways here, like a little, we give each other a little bit of love. Uh, the other thing, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that if you do get into it and you read the script and you want to talk with me through social media, uh, I will, I mean, I'll, I'll take your opinion seriously. I once, um, I once wrote a play in a public Google doc. So any, anyone could come in and, and, um, you know, watch me as, as I wrote and give me comments and things like that. It was, uh, it was, uh, never fall in love with the writer, which was uh, directed by, uh, Wayne Current and starred uh, Jen Capogreco. Uh, it was an Ottawa French production, but in the course, course of writing that play, um, I, uh, someone who was commenting on it gave me an idea and I actually incorporated it into the play. So if you, you know, join me on this journey and you engage with the videos and give me some ideas and ask questions, at minimum, you're going to help direct how the, the vlog goes. But uh, if we ever, you know, who knows, maybe we'll have a really good conversation that could have an impact on how the, the play is actually produced. Uh, so that, that's part of the reason why I do it. It's, I think it's fun for me, hopefully it'll be fun for you. And once I get the, you know, get more relaxed about giving the, doing these video, these vlogs and not hitting stop and restarting uh, like eight, 800 times it took for me to, to do this tonight, uh, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more efficient in terms of at least sharing some of my ideas as well. Uh, but important, 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 important is we, uh, it hasn't been cast yet. Um, my, if I can find two good actors, my job will just be making sure they don't stand in front of each other as far as I can tell. Uh, so please, uh, if you know, uh, a young woman, late twenties or someone who can play their late twenties, uh, a man, uh, who is in his early fifties or can play his early fifties, like two, I need two really good actors. Um, the audition, open auditions are June 10th. I, for the record, I have no one in mind. I have no setups. We're going, we're going, we're going, you know, open. This is an open audition. So please uh, share this with them. So maybe they can get a sense of who they're going to be working with. Um, let them know that June 10th, did I say 10th? June 10th. I said something different. It's June 10th. The open auditions, June 10th. Uh, let them know, send them this video, uh, go to uh, the Auto Little Theater's website and there is an open audition notice that you can consult for more details. Slides are found there. So if this looks like it's going to be fun for you, I think it'll be fun for me. And uh, what you need to do is uh, click through, because you're probably watching this on Facebook, click through to YouTube, um, like the YouTube, comment there and uh, subscribe to my um, channel. So I think I probably won't do another one for a week, and then they'll probably pick up a little bit more as the, uh, the production process uh, picks up. So thanks for watching so far, and uh, if you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, click through to YouTube and put the comments on YouTube. Thanks, and uh, look forward to talking to you about this.